This is the fourth in a series of videos explaining why ClickHouse is fast. In this video, we're going to learn about three techniques that ClickHouse uses to prune data at query time so that it doesn't have to do big scans. Every table in ClickHouse has a primary key that decides the sort order of its data. When we import data into ClickHouse, it gets stored as data parts, and the data in each part is sorted by the table's primary key. These parts are then broken down into granules that have 8,192 rows by default. Let's now learn about the first technique for data pruning. For every table, ClickHouse creates a primary index file that lives in memory. The index file contains the primary key for the first record in each granule. At query time, the ClickHouse query engine needs to work out which granules it needs to scan to compute a result. If we run a query that filters on the primary key, the query engine can do a binary search over the index file to work out which granules can be pruned as they won't contain matching results. If we've chosen our primary key well, this will mean ignoring a lot of data resulting in a much faster query. The second technique is called a skipping index. ClickHouse supports min-max and unique indexes, bloom filters, and probably more in the future. With these indexes, we again have an index file that lives in memory. When defining a skip index, we can specify a granularity which defines the size of an indexed block. So if we set it to one, there will be one entry in the index file per table granule. If we set it to two, there will be one entry per two table granules. The skip index file will contain some metadata depending on which type was chosen. The query engine refers to the skip indexes after the primary index to see whether it can skip some more granules. The third technique is called projections. So remember that the sparse primary index is based on the data being sorted on disk in lexicographical order by the primary key columns. This means a table can only have one primary index. But there might be some queries that filter on different columns and therefore need a different primary key and a different ordering of data on disk. And this is exactly what projections do. So they create a consistent, up-to-date, but hidden copy of the data from the original table, sorted in a different order, and therefore with a different primary key. ClickHouse will automatically work out whether to run queries against the original table or this shadow copy. And for this technique in particular, we are trading off disk space for faster query performance. 